Des Moines, Iowa. Iowa madness is in full effect right now, with less than three weeks until the Iowa caucuses, which officially kick off the presidential nominating process. White House hopefuls are often locked in heated competition. They are spread out across state cram as many events into a single day as humanly possible all with goal of attracting undecided voters and locking support that will carry them to victory in Iowa keep them race for months to come. But as campaign intensifies ahead of the Congresses on January 15, normal frenzy is subdued. As schedule fills out, former President Donald Trump is such a dominant force in party some voters worry that contest normally turns Iowa into center of political world could turn into some kind of postponement. It's a little frustrating, said Jenna Mayfeld, a 19-year-old student at University of Iowa who was eager to attend the primary but was disappointed by campaign cycles lack of competition. I feel like a lot of people's voices aren't being heard, and Trump's rivals are barely ceding the state to him trying to convince voters that his victory is not inevitable. Former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley is also campaigning across Iowa, stepping up criticism of Trump while setting the stage for a potentially stronger showing in New Hampshire, where the Jan 23 primary includes more independent voters. The question is whether any of these efforts will significantly erode Trump's reputation. This is a possibility that some voters consider unlikely at this point. A lot candidates are hoping that one of these spears in his back will eventually take him down. But I doubt it, said Nick Peters. 31. Prairie City. Who is himself among the Iowa Republicans disappointed by Trump's move? Dominance. Trump enters the final stretch before the caucuses facing a number of challenges. He faces 91 criminal charges related everything from his handling of classified information to his efforts overturn the 2020 presidential election. The Colorado Supreme Court and Maine's top elections official recently declared Trump ineligible appear on their state's ballots. The former president is expected to appeal these decisions. Possibly the U.S. Supreme Court. Trump has been embroiled in controversy for his harsh rhetoric towards immigrants. He uses language that extremist experts have repeatedly said echoes Adolf Hitler's writings about the purity Aryan blood, which underpinned Nazi Germany's earlier systematic of millions Jews and other undesirables. But for now, Trump's baggage doesn't seem likely to deter the majority of Republican voters. In fact, Trump has tried to turn his weaknesses into an advantage by claiming blame on behalf of his supporters. It also aims to dispel concerns that President Joe Biden poses a threat to democracy by accusing him of using the power of the government against a political rival. There is no evidence that Biden or the White House had any influence on the Justice Department.